Just quickly, Danny, who have you enjoyed playing with more, Johnny Wilkinson or Marcus Smith? Marcus Smith, hundred uh, percent. I played with Johnny a few times. It was ama- it was obviously amazing because it's Johnny, but um, Marcus is since he came into the team at eighteen. Well, I trained with him when he was like sixteen. I remember them bringing him to a Harlequin session, saying, "We've got this young ten. See what you think." Um, I remember throwing him a ball slightly too high and he was like, mate, can you just put it in front of me? And I was like, oh, <laughs> you are but then I was like, but then I saw what he did with it and I was like, yeah, I will put it. I will put it where you want it, sir. Well, sir Marcus. <laughs> um, and I remember him telling the forwards like, can you maybe just run like, like two lines back at the, back at the ball. I want to, I want to fizz it in front of one of you to the other one. So the defender can't react. And I remember Marla going like, who is this lad? <laughs> But then you see how good he is and you see how, for, as well, what a nice lad he is. You go, yeah, I would, well, I will do that. I will do that for you. Um, and I've seen him, I've literally, I feel like a bit like a, like an older brother to him that I've seen him kind of grow up and develop. And when he now plays for England, I'm more watching him, wanting him to do well than than the team really because um, he's like the most grounded bloke you'll ever meet. Um loves a social with the lads as well which not all of them are like that that's these why days. you ruled him over Johnny Wilson <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was really yeah. Into. loves a beer um, but he's so sociable everyone loves him he's incredibly well brought up like he's got great values and he lives them every day his family's his everything so you, you we're like he's brothers a fuck, he's but a he's a but, and also he's, he's, he's like an, an incredibly in talented man. lad and incredibly competitive yeah, and one tell. of the hardest workers I've ever come across so he deserves every everything he gets but how will he have taken this six nations where he kind of wasn't given many opportunities except you know at the hands of a of a ferocious French pack yeah it's kind of tough right? I, I hope he's I hope he gets another shot at it this weekend so I'm pretty sure he, he will do he should do um, no 10 you put any 10 in that team at the weekend is doing anything differently in that French game you couldn't stop them um, so I think it's I think if England are to bridge the gap between them and the best teams in the world for me he, he's the player that has to play fly off because I, I do feel you have to play a bit differently we have to play quicker you have to play a more attacking mindset um, and that being said there are definitely games where I think Owen might be better suited to to play in 10 but it'd be those two for me that would share it and you get the best 80 minute performance out of that 10 shirt whoever, whoever plays but for me if you want to go out and attack more which I think you're going to have to do to beat these brilliant teams look at Scotland that it took a while for them to finally settle on Finn but Finn's given now full license to run the team because they've realized just how brilliant he is I think the same should could might happen with England that he gets the full license to run it his way we've always said it, haven't we here yeah, Marcus Smith get him in at 10 and play him at 10 I'd back him I'd back him <laughs> we want to see him I you might be biased it. fucking yeah. rugby you want to see yeah. it 100% I think he gets people off the seats like he gets fans excited about the game when he gets the ball at Twickenham you can hear people get off their seat mm. you don't get that with many players mm. other than yourself because obviously that's who we'd have in there at 9 mm. who would you have in there at 9 with him uh, so look, I'm a big fan of JVP. I think he's he's done great. He's a great lad. I think whenever Alex Mitchell's come on the pitch, the tempo has increased, which it obviously is easier towards the end of a game. I yeah. made a career of it. Um, and when people go, you should start. Like, yeah. well, you should do that. And like, finish, finish. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it is easier when teams are tired and you, you're you you're coming on with the one thing of tempo. Just get the ball away quicker. Yeah. But... I'm looking, at, win. I'm, look, yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at that England performance and the only way they're going to improve I think their attack is to play quicker. It's too slow for me at the minute. Yeah. The ball's at the breakdown for too long. It's got to be in and out in less than 2-3 seconds. If it's not the fences are set and there's no space. So I would I think he'll stick with JVP because I think he knows him well. He's they've done well with him at Leicester. Um, but if you're Alex Mitchell, I think you're banging on that door and if you're Raff, Raffy Quirk and Harry Randall, Harry, you're probably saying, say, yeah. you know, yeah, a give, me a, give me a go. So there's some there's some great lads that play all differently. It suppose it depends on ultimately the style that Steve wants to, to pick from. And at the moment, I think he's picking 
someone who's probably a little bit more safer than the others. Yeah, but don't, because look at Scotland, Ben White. Yeah, exactly, yeah. How good, Ben yeah, White's been great, come out of nowhere. Played I know brilliantly he's for really Irish, well yeah. for Irish, but yeah. then Tooney's given him a life, I'm going, go on then, have yeah, a crack. And exactly. He's, he's, no, he's, he's been great, hasn't he? Took his chance really well. 